Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this pretty line bracelet. And this bracelet is uh, layered beading. And what that is, is we've got a base, um, you know, made up of a, a stitch. And then we're going to add layers onto the top of that stitch um, to make this really pretty bracelet. So if you notice, see it's a nice substantial bracelet and if it looks familiar to you, this is a modified right angle weave and it's uh, the Elizabeth the first bracelet that we made with a few modifications. <laughs> so this is what we're going to make today. So here's this one. So I had three of them on. Um, this one I did with pearls. I used a pearl cabochon and a chaton and this one I used a an opal chaton on the chaton on this, and I love the way the opal looks. So um, get your beads ready, get your goodies ready, and um, we're gonna make this bracelet. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's really not stressful. It's just a fun way of beading layer upon layer until you get something really beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna clear this off, get a materials list going, and we'll get started. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my channel, and. Uh, Click that share button if you want to share it, and uh, we'll be right back. Thanks. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you'll need some four millimeter bicones. You need some four millimeter pearls. So you want a round bead here. I'm using a two millimeter fire polish bead, and for those of you who haven't seen them, that's what it looks like. It's the perfect little two millimeter fire polish. It is. Um, it's faceted. It's the perfect. Fit here and I really would suggest you um, keep these in your stash because they're so perfect for so many different things where maybe two 11 O's is too big, one 11 O's too small. For some reason that works great. So this is what I'm using. I'm using a chaton here. Now that's what it looks like. The pointed back stone. It's an 8 millimeter or 8 point something millimeter. SS39 and because we're going to do this one today I'm using this 8mm, this is a Swarovski flat back, so it's a, a pearl cabochon. So do you see how it's flat on the back? I use these a lot for um, bead embroidery. So I'm using, I'm just alternating, you can just use all crystals, you can use all pearls, whatever you like. I will try to find a source for these. Um, I know you can get them a 10 millimeter on most of the bead websites, but I haven't seen eight yet, but I'll look around and I'll put something down in the description box below the video. I actually purchased those on Etsy, um, and I'll put that link there too. I'll take a look and see if they have stock. 11-0 seed bead, 15-0 um, seed bead, bugle beads, so grab your bugle beads. That's what makes this whole, um, the bezel here is we're using bugle beads, so I thought that was like really cool. I mean, you know, I don't mean to compliment myself. It's just, you know, trying to figure out things. I use all kinds of beads. So grab your bugle beads. I have a little two-strand box clasp here. You know, my fave. A stop bead. Size, um, I'm using a size 11 beading needle. You can keep a 12 handy. Um, eight pound fire line. I use the black satin. That works great. Again, don't forget Ringberry's mat. 10% off code. This is the big mat that I use under my other mat, and this is the No More Oops bead tray. I'll put a link down below for that as well. All right, so I'm going to clear this off, and we're going to get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about five and a half feet of thread. Put on a stop bead and leave about a 12 inch tail. So this is a modified right angle weave base to this bracelet that we're going to layer on top of. Now, if you've done the Elizabeth, the first bracelet is pretty much the same as that bracelet. If I kind of change the way I, the sequence I put my beads on, it's just, it's really the same modified right angle weave. The only difference is if you've done the Elizabeth bracelet with, I'm going to turn it on this side, with two 11 O's in between the pearls, you won't be able to do the bezel on top like this because when you use, and, and this is just for, for you guys, when you use two millimeter, the two um, 11 O seed beads, your netting changes from five beads on a side to four and we need those five to create a bezel here for this chaton. Okay, so just saying, in case you want to go back and use your bracelet, if you've done it with the two millimeter fire polish bead in between the pearls um, and the bicones, that's perfect. Okay, so here we go. 
I've dropped down to my stop bead a pearl, a bicone, and two pearls. I'm just going to sew those into a circle by sewing up through the first bead after my stop bead, and I'm going to go all the way around as well, just to, to um, reinforce this unit. So around you go. And I want you to keep going until you pass where your stop bead is, which is right there. You know, so your tail thread, and this is what you have. So this is how I want you to hold your unit. I've got three pearls on the end and a bicone right there. Okay, so just get to that point and then we'll continue. Let's continue. So pick up a two millimeter fire polish bead, a pearl, a bicone, and a pearl. We're going to, we're exiting this pearl. We're going to sew through the bicone this way. See which way my needle's going? Pop those on like that to put another unit on. I'm going to pull my thread a little in this direction. I'm going to completely skip that two millimeter bead. Let's see if I get my lights a little better. I'm going to completely skip it and I'm going to sew through this pearl. So just sew right past through that two millimeter. That's what we have. Okay. I'm going to pick up a two millimeter, a pearl, a bicone, and a pearl. I'm going to do that again. Exiting this pearl, I'm going to sew through this bicone like that. Pull it in this direction, holding it with my thumb. Okay. I'm going to completely skip that two millimeter there and just sew through the pearl. So now I have another unit on. All right. So this is what we're going to do all the way down to the end of the bracelet. But what we're going to do, we want to put on a certain amount of units. So you're going to count your units from this pearl. One, two, three. For my about seven and a half inch bracelet, I have 24 units. However, I want you to put on 23 just as you've done it. So I want you to have 23 pearls at the end, an odd number. And then the last unit is going to be a little bit different because we want to, we want to duplicate this end on this end. So no matter what size your bracelet is, your, your bracelet size, you're going to be putting on an odd number of units. Count the units by here. One, two, three. You're going to count an odd number of units, whether it be 23, uh, 19, uh, 25. You're going to do an odd number, and then the last unit we put on that matches this is going to make it even. And that's just so when we do our the netting on the top, we have an, we have an entire um, diamond here. And you'll see that as we go along. So remember, odd number of units, come on back, we'll add the last unit, which will make it an even number of units, um, and then we'll continue. All right, see you in a few. Have fun. Okay, we're back. So I've done my 23 units, and I measured my bracelet. It's actually a little closer to seven inches. So you'll have to measure and see, you know, what's right for you. It's very forgiving at the end. You can always extend the clasp. All right, so I have my 23 units on. I'm going for 24. So I'm going to pick up a two millimeter. And because I want it to look the same way as the other end, I'm going to pick up three pearls. Two millimeter, three pearls. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through the bicone. I'm going to skip like we've been doing, the two millimeter, and sew through this pearl right here. Pull. And if you get a little loose like that, just use your thumb to kind of push it together and then pull again. It's nice if you keep your tension nice and even and don't have too much thread showing. All right, so now I have 24 units on, or an even number of units on, when I add this last unit, and I'm my sequence is the same on either end. So all you want to do now is just sew through this pearl and this pearl. So we're going to go back up again. 
with some more units. But I'm just going to let you get to this point, and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to just take my piece and sort of turn it this way, so I, you know, I can go up easily. So I'm exiting this pearl right here. I'm going to pick up one bicone and two pearls. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through the other side of the pearl I'm exiting. Let me just move my camera down a little, just so that it's not so distracting seeing all the beads up there. All right, so this is what I have. So I'm exiting here. That's how we're going to move up. I'm going to pick up a two millimeter fire polish. I'm just going to sew directly through the next pearl, right above the one I'm exiting. like that. And then I'm going to pick up one bicone and one pearl. I'm going to sew through this per this bicone right here, so this way, and then I'm going to, on the diagonal, I'm going to skip the 2 millimeter and I'm going to sew through the pearl. When I pull I'm going to pick up a two millimeter. Sew through the next pearl. So do you see how that's making it nice and even? So we have our two bicones here. We have the pearl surrounding them. So I'm going to pick up a bicone and a pearl. Do the same thing. Exiting this pearl, I'm going to sew through this bicone skip the two millimeter and on the diagonal I'm just going to get in there and sew through the pearl. Like that. I'm going to give that a little pull, put your thumb on it, and that's what you're going to do all the way down until a couple of units before the end and then we'll, we'll um, get this ending going and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I'm coming down to the very end and I have to put my last unit on here. So I'm going to pick up two pearls. Like so. And then I'm going to sew diagonally through these, through the bicone and the pearl. Like that. And that's going to put my unit on. So it matches the other side. So here, and there. Okay, so what we're going to do at this point is if you have enough thread to come down again, we're going to sew through this pearl and this pearl. Okay, just like that. And then we're just going to add a two millimeter fire polish bead in between each pearl. And you might have enough thread to do it, and if you don't, then add thread. You know, I always put my adding thread video link in the description box below this video, so if you need to add thread, you can very easily add thread. So I'm just going to keep going down. Like that. To complete this side. All right, so I'm just going to let you do that, and then just meet me at the end, and we'll um, we'll go from there. Just back for a second. So as you're putting this side, these side um, two millimeters on, so you're stringing them through. So if you pull this tight, it could sort of bunch things up a little on one side. So just leave it nice and fluid, and it will all tighten up later. So see, as I as I go through, I'm not pulling tight. I'm just letting it sit into place, and then when we sew this thread in at the end, and then start the netting, everything will tighten up. But you don't want to pull it too tight. You want to keep it just nice and fluid. See how it's like really floppy? That's perfect. All right, seeing a few. Okay, I'm coming down to the end, and I am running out of thread, but I just want to get you past here, and then I'll add a thread. Um, but you can go back, add a thread anytime. So here, I'm exiting here. I'm putting on my last 
two millimeter. So that's going to bring me to the end. And then I want you to grab your 11 O's. Pop a few of those out. And I just want you to add one 11 O here, like that. A two millimeter here in between the two pearls, like that, and an 11 0 right here. And I'm just going to keep going down a little bit. So this is how I want you to end it. Do you see how you have an 11 0 here, 11 0 here, and a 2 millimeter there? So actually, I think I can sew in this thread. And then sew in your thread. Make sure when you sew it in that your bracelet is nice and fluid and it's not bunched up or anything. So this is looking pretty good to me. So just so sew in your threads and um, you know by making a few half hitch knots and then come on back and we'll start the knitting. Okay we're back so I've sewn in the thread on this end and then before we continue take your stop bead off and thread a needle so here's the other end with my stop bead threaded a needle I'm just going to do the same thing I did on the other side I'm going to pick up an 11-0 I'm going to sew through that pearl I'm going to pick up a two millimeter sew through this guy, and I'm going to take a, an 11 -0 and sew through this one. And at this point you can, you can either hold this thread and maybe use it to add your clasp on, or you can sew this thread in. I'll leave that up to you. Alright, so just get that done and come on back and we'll continue. Okay, so I have my bracelet base done, and now I want to do the netting. So we're going to do this part right now. We'll get to those bezels soon. All right, so here we go. I've threaded a needle with about five feet of thread, put on a stop bead in the middle. So we're going to use one thread to put the netting on one, one side, and then we're going to use the other thread to go across. But you'll see as we go along. So I'm just going to sew through this middle bead right here, so the little fire polish bead. And my tail thread is going to, the, the um, stop bead will stop the tail thread from pulling through. I'm going to pick up five 11 O's. And the prettier your 11 O's are, nice and even, um, the better your netting is going to look. So exiting here, I'm going to sew through this one on the side. So the, using the fire polish beads now to sew through. And then I'm going to pick up five 11 O's and I'm going to sew through this middle one right here. Pull on a little bit so you can see. All right, so I'm doing this sort of diamond pattern like that. Pick up five 11 O's. I'm going to sew through this one. So we're going all the way down to that end, like that. Pick up five, 11 O's. Going to, to this middle one, right here. Like that. Pick up five, 11 O's. And we're going to sew through this one. So we're just going to zigzag with this side at the moment with five beads until you get all the way to the end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with this side, but I'll start you off on that side. So just keep doing this over and over again until you're at the end, and meet me at the end and we'll, um, we'll finish the end together. Okay, I'm coming down to the end, so I'm going to pick up my last five, my 11 O's, and I'm going to sew through This one. Actually, we can go one more. And this one. Alright, so now we're at the end here. So all you're going to do is... Actually, just let me let you get to that point, and then we'll start the other side. Okay, we're back. So I took off my stop bead, and now we're going to zigzag our way back with the other thread. 
So here I've picked up five, taken off my stop bead, threaded my needle, picked up five beads. I'm going to sew through this one. So exiting right here. Like that. Pick up five. Pure 11 O's. I'm going to sew through this guy. So that middle fire polish. So here's that's our first diamond. Pick up five. So through this one. Five eleven O's. Through the middle guy. That's what you want to do all the way down to the end and just, you know, straighten it out periodically. Don't pull too tight. Keep your tension nice and, and even. And there you go. So then just keep going all the way down and then meet me at the end and we'll finish this off. Okay, I'm coming down to the end. I'm going to add my last five. So here, I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through this one. That, so now I have the, I have two threads here. Like that. Okay, and this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to sew these two threads in and then I'm going to start the, the um, bezels. If you want, you can take one of these threads and probably get a couple of bezels in. But I want to start from the beginning and I'm going to just sew them all in a row. Not one at a time. I won't have to add thread. So I'm just going to sew them all in a row. I'm going to take my threads and I'm going to sew them in. If you want, you can hold one thread aside, like go through the back a little bit and use it as your clasp. But I just, I don't have enough left that I want to add more thread here. So I'm just going to use one thread for all my bezels. So I'm going to sew these in and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So now we're going to start the bezels. So I did one and I filmed it and after looking at the clip, um, it was just really hard to see. So I'm going to, so this is the one I did. So I'm going to start at this end. So I'm going to continue that in a, you know, later. But it doesn't matter what end you start at. So I'm going to start it over again at this end. And I'm going to use these white bugle beads and these blue 15 O's. So you can, you know, see better what I'm doing. It's much prettier when you use the metallic, I, I think. But, um, so we're just going to do this so it's easy to see. So thread your needle with about, I don't know, five or six feet of thread. Put on a stop bead. And you could leave a 10 inch tail or 12 inch tail if you want to sew your clasp on with that tail or you can add your clasp separately. So I'm going to try and do the entire, all my bezels with one thread. So I'm going to just be jumping from one to the next. But let's get started right now. So I'm just going to sew through that fire polish bead with my thread and here's my stop bead. Now I'm just using a small thread because I'm just going to do a couple of them. So, um, I, you know, just to show you with the other beads, and then I'm going to take it out and finish, you know, finish with the other beads. So I've just sewn through the fire polish bead, and then I'm going to sew up through the first three 11 O's of that next group of five 11 O's that we put on. Like that. I'm going to pick up a 15 O, a bugle bead and a 15 o and it would be very good to pick up the most even edged bugle beads that you have. It will just look prettier. Okay, so I'm, I've come out of the third bead here. I'm just going to come over to the third bead on the next group of five. And you'll be able to see it really well with these white bugle beads or cream colored bugle beads. Alright, then I'm going to pick up a 15 o a bugle and a 15 o do the same thing in the next group of five. Come sew through the third bead. Just the third bead. So we're making like a little cage for our bezel, for our stone. 15 0, bugle bead. 15 0, number three bead of the next group of five. Fifteen O. Bugle bead. Fifteen O going through number three of the next group of five. So that's one we've already gone through, but just that one. Then the 15-0 bugle bead and the 15-0. OK, 
Okay, so now I have this little cage. So get that done, and then we'll continue. All right. So you're exiting this group of this group here of 15O bugle bead 15O. I'm going to pick up a 15O, and I'm going to put one 15O in between each of the 15Os on the edges here. So exiting here, 15O. So through these. So the 15O bugle bead 15O, 15O. So through the next group. So putting a 15O in the corner, 15O. So through the next group, 15O. So through the next group, I'm going straight ahead through the 15O bugle bead 15O, the next 15O, and the one in the corner, because we're going to keep going around. So at this point, you can go around one more time. Don't you don't have to pull like super tight because we have to get that stone in, right? So here I'm just gonna just gonna go around like so. All right now, um, just a note: if your uh, little fire polish bead down in the middle there is sticking up, because sometimes it sticks up, so I I want you to push it down because that way the point of your um, bezel will, you know, the point of your stone will go into that. So I just here's my flat, uh, my chain nose. I just went like this, and I kind of made sure that those fire polish beads were down in there, so that the point of the stone can go down in. All right, let's put a stone in. So here, put it in. Give it a pull inward, just like that. Now you're gonna go around again. You can use a size 12 beading needle here. I'm still using my 11, but you can use a 12. You want it tight. So I think you can go around at least one more time. You know, um, just judge on how tight it feels and how the stone is sitting. Hold it with your thumb, give it a pull. Continuing around, and I'm going to, let's see, where do we want to exit here? I can exit this 15O on one of this, on the side. So right now I'm on this side, so I'm going to exit this 15O, that first 15O after the bugle bead. If you're here, exit that one. Doesn't matter. I'm going to tighten it. That's not going anywhere. That's perfectly in fine. If it's not straight, you want to straighten it out and tighten it. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And if you need to go around again, go around again. So mine looks pretty good. So I'm exiting this 15O right here. Actually, you know what? Let me let you get to that point and then we'll continue because I want to make sure you get it nice and tight. Okay, so I went around and my my bezel is nice and tight. So you're exiting a 15O after one of the bugle beads here. I just want you to make a turn and you're going to go down these two on the side like that and then I'm, you're going to turn and go through this pearl on the outside. Now that seems weird but it locks everybody into place really nicely and it's going to get us down to the next opening to put, bezel, to put the next bead on or the next um, bezel in. So do you see how that I've just I've just made a turn here, come here, around here. I'm going to sew through the fire polish. So the next fire polish. Get my needle in there. The pearl and the next fire polish. Ouch. Come on back, you. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going down the line there a little bit, pulling, and I'm exiting this fire polish bead right here. I'm just going to continue on through the next three 11 O's of that next group of five 11 O's to put me in position to put more, put another bezel on. And do you see how nicely that went on? It's nice and straight. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be even tighter once you sew your tail thread in. All right, so just get that done and then come on back and we'll put the we'll put the pearl on.
Okay, we're back. So I was going to put on a parole with you, and I did make a clip. However, it for some reason it didn't record correctly, and I just didn't check it, and I went ahead, and when I checked it, I saw it wasn't good, so, but I had already taken everything off and started doing my regular, you know, my regular bezeling. So you can just, if you, if you need further instruction on it, just rewind if you're putting the pearl on or your next cabochon, it doesn't matter. The It's the exact same procedure. So just rewind to the last, you know, minute or two and just follow the instructions that I gave you. Remember when I used the cream color one. So it's exactly the same. Nothing changes. They're both the same size. I just thought it would be fun to put the pearl on with you, but I'm sorry that that clip got messed up. So <laughs> rewind if you need, need to look at it again and then meet me at the end and we'll put the clasp on. All right, see you soon. Okay, we're back, so let's get one end of the clasp on. So I'm adding it separately, so I added a thread on. I just think with a bracelet that has this much involved in it, um, if you break the clasp and you've added a thread, it's easy to replace that clasp. So, you know, it's up to you. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. So I'm exiting. I put my, my um, thread on, and I'm exiting right here this through this uh, 11 o. So I'm going to pick up two 11 o's. I'm going to go through one ring on the clasp and you know I always use these clasps. I just think they're so pretty and they're very vintage looking. I'm open to using other clasps. I mean I do use other clasps but I'd like to find some other two strand box clasps that I like as much. Okay 11 o, 4 millimeter 11 o. And you know as I always say um, if the rings aren't facing the way you want them to face, then you can purchase these little three and four millimeter locking jump rings and then put it on the way you want it to face so you can add any clasp. So just like that. And then two 11 O's. I'm going to go through this guy. So now you have your clasp on. Now I'm just going to turn it on the back and I'm going to just start sewing through some beads here. So I have a, I think this is a size 12 beading needle, so it's a pony, so it's bending a little bit. But I'm just sewing, I sewed through the pearl, I'm going to go through this guy, and then I'm going to work my way around, maybe go through this one, you know, and just until I can come around and reinforce again around the entire clasp. So work your way around. You might have to go this way, across and up, and then go around again, but I'll let you figure out your little path there to get that on. But that's how you're gonna that's how you're gonna get it on. All right, so get that done, and then you're gonna do the exact same thing for the for the other side because it's the exact same closure on the you know the exact same rings on the other side. Then come on back, and we'll finish. Here up. you go. It's done, and I love it. I think it came out great. That's what it looks like. Perfect fit. Really pretty. Here is the the amethyst bracelet. Love that one. Here's one I was playing with um, and I just was just sort of practicing a little bit and I love the opal beads on this. I love three together. Wow, that feels so good on the on the wrist. Um, here, I'll give you a look at it. Closed. So when it's closed, let me pop this one off. Um, it's a nice substantial bracelet so you have a really nice well um, beaded inside, lots of, it's sturdy, um, looks pretty even from this direction where you see the bezels. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll definitely revisit this um, in some way, maybe a ring, that could be cool. Maybe, I, I definitely think this would make an awesome necklace. So uh, stay tuned, all right? So I wanna thank you again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.